Maker is a culture. Not something you write into a lesson plan once in a while. Not a special day. Not just a room in the building. Culture is what you intentionally do every day. And it gets built by tiny actions all around us. For Maker Center Learning, it can be about having splashes of and opportunities for curiosity and creativity all around the building and campus. One school took the old trophies out of a hallway case and replaced them with the parts to build a computer. No real instructions, just an opportunity to put things together and make a working computer. When it got done and, and the admin saw that it worked, the kids took it apart for another set of kids to try. What other devices or items, machines, could you put in a hallway for students to assemble? Do you have a metal door? Do you have some magnet tiles? Put them up and see what designs people come up with. Be aware, sometimes the tiles might go missing. There are some very inexpensive ways to create a physical light bright. The Children's Museum of Cleveland uses pool noodles. Pool noodles are an awesome maker material. Get them in the summertime at the dollar store. Colored golf tees and pegboard is another method. Put up a chalkboard in the hallway for doodling, poetry, or graffiti. You, uh, you could try chalkboard paint on a surface. If you prefer, you could use a whiteboard. Yes, we have to monitor what goes up on the board, but that's nothing new. The hallway near the Western Reserve Academy Makerspace has a light bright kind of device. It's actually made up of uh, light dials that when you tap it, it turns on and when you turn it it changes color what kind of interactive walls could you create Legos marble run put up a challenge table Mark Karcher has tried an origami challenge once in a while and the kids love it he puts out paper and a QR code for instructions he has found that students get a little bored if it's always origami you could try some building with straws Straw is one brand of connectors. There are others. You could put pieces of pipe cleaner for connectors. You don't need a whole pipe cleaner to connect straws, so cut them into pieces a couple of inches long. If you leave whole pipe cleaners, they use whole pipe cleaners. But for some reason, they cut straws as needed. Paint a wall green or hang up a Dollar Tree green tablecloth. See what photos they can come up with, what backgrounds they can put themselves in. Give them a theme, maybe. Have a contest for a special dessert at lunch or lunch with the principal. Remember to utilize outdoor spaces. Potting tables to play with natural elements. Uh, sculptures or large versions of games. A stage to play act on. Some musical instruments. That's what's in the top left. Those uh, tubes make different sounds when you bang them with things. Be sure to show off student creations as many ways as possible. Get the hallways filled with student work. Rotate it often. Utilize social media. Send pictures home. We've been saying it on, on Twitter for a few years. Don't just turn it in. Publish it. Get a student committee to create and self-publish a yearbook of creations. All of the signage around the school can and should be creative and made by the students. Replace, cover up all the room number signs with new student designs. Let students personalize them for each teacher. Change them out once in a while. Make your place scream. Around here, we are creative. Which of those school-wide culture building ideas do you guys already do? Which ones piqued your interest? Which ones can you try next week? Next month? Next year? Now would be a good time to take a couple minutes to share in a Padlet, a Wakelet, or in the chat. What do you think of school-wide ways to promote curiosity and creativity? So they just see it all around them. So it just becomes every fiber of their being.